Everybody, Ice Drake here, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. We've just started day two, and uh, we're gonna try and get some uh, some stuff accomplished. So we're gonna check our weather report. KOZV5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment, and now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow. Well, that's great. That means I don't have to water my crops. That means I can save a lot of energy. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so fortune teller. Ah, uh, yes. I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. That is wonderful to hear. That's great. I've got mail. Okay, good. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? <laughs> yeah, it does. Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Pierre, buddy, I'm coming your way. I've got more mail. Okay. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. Well, Willie, that's very suspicious, but I'm going to come see you anyway, because, well, I really don't have much else to do right now. To the beach! Someone named Willie invited you to the beach south of town. He says he has something to give you. Visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. Okay, I can do that. Okay. Don't let me forget, guys. I'm counting on you. Okay. Okay, so we're going to water our crops quickly. Nope, that one. Thank you. Get our parsnips ready to go. Okay. And I do want to visit the general store because I also want to get some seeds and start some more crops. Because, I mean, that's how we're going to make our money, right? I mean, that's, that's like a thing that needs to happen. Okay, so I explored south last time. I'm going to go north today and uh, see what we can find. Maybe, maybe good things, right? Okay. I'll just cut down a few of these while I'm on my way. Kind of start getting things cleared out anyway. All right, there we go. So, heading north. Okay. Do, 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 do. It's kind of a nice little, little back trail. I'm going to cut down this tree. Because, you know, I mean, it's not my wood, but nobody's going to know. I'm, uh, I'm timber poaching. Don't tell anybody. Okay. So, got some wood, got some sap. It's a good time. You're coming with me too, buddy. And down it goes. Okay. Forestry. Okay. Alright. So, this comes back to... There's a sign here. Railroad. Yeah, but not right now. Okay. Hey, you're, uh... Mountain-dwelling hobo guy, Linus. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Well, that's cool, Linus. That's, uh... I mean, it's like a good thing, right? I mean, you don't, uh... Don't have any bills to pay. Don't have any, uh... Any student loans to pay off like I'm currently trying to do, you know? So, uh... You keep doing you, buddy. And I'm gonna keep doing me. Alright. I'm just gonna keep poaching these trees, because that's the thing that's happening today. Oh yeah. Get it. Okay, so we wanna head to the general store. I'm gonna go ahead and search around up here real quick. Okay, hey guy. Hey, hey, hey guy. No, I can't talk to him. Okay, well, enough of that, I guess. Probably for the best. I don't know. Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's see. I keep looking for forage, but I'm not really seeing anything that I can pick up, so I guess maybe I'll go in here and meet some people at least. Hey, it's Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Yeah, she sounds a bit like Mickey Mouse. Don't, uh, don't mind her. Haha, uh -huh. I don't know what you mean, Drew. Okay, so, is there anybody else in here that we can meet? Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Well, uh, nice to meet you too, Demetrius. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Well, you know what? I think I can help you out with that, Demetrius. Have you met my daughter Maru? She's interested to meet you. Is she now? I'm, I'm assuming, of course, that your daughter is over the age of 18. <clears throat> no? Okay, well, maybe we'll just be friends then. Okay. Not good enough friends with anyone to enter their bedrooms. And that's probably for the best, I, I think. I'm gonna go in your basement, guy. I'm not gonna go in your basement. Sebastian! Okay. 
How many frickin' people live here? God! Hippie commune. Okay, so... Moving on down south. To the land of the pines. Thumbing my way out of North Carolina. Okay. Daffodil! What's up? Okay. I don't know if they're actually worth anything. I don't... Uh, did we sell a daffodil last time? No, we had some dandelions, but we got rid of them because we picked up... Uh, clam? Or an oyster? One of the two. Anyway, something from the beach. So, okay, this is kind of a nice little park and garden area. It's a nice little fountain. Okay. Um, Pelican Town. Okay, so that's the name of the town. It's locked. Okay. Well, the place is run down anyway. I feel like there's going to be like a Scooby-Doo mystery there later. If I cut down all this grass, do I get rupees? Am I Link? What's going on? Okay, so... So much for this place. Hmm. Okay, it's almost noon. Can I cut down these? I can't. Hmm. Permanent stumps. That's no good. That is no good. Okay, so there's like a little creek here. Hey! It's, uh, it's Pam! Hey you! Don't be snooping around the trailer when I'm out! Got it? No problem, Pam. Sorry, but I gotta be cautious with strangers. Why, are you... You cooking meth? I feel like Pam's cooking meth. Alex. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Yeah, Alex, I'm, uh, I'm Drew. I'll see you around. Okay, alright, you have a nice life, buddy. Okay. So who lives here? Looks oh, like an old guy in a wheelchair. Okay. It's irritating having to meet all these new people, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not so bad, George. It's, uh, you know... Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off! Mm. Alright, well, you're you're cranky. I'm, I'm interrupting you in the middle of your uh, your lunch there, so sorry about that, I guess. No? Okay. Oh, that's Alex's house, so I guess he lives here with George. Okay. Evelyn is George's wife. Okay, alright. So, uh, we're making progress meeting people. I like it. Okay, they really need to clean this yard up. My god, this is, it's bad. Okay, so the store was up here. So like a quest here? Help wanted, I need a quartz if it's not too inconvenient. Shane. 75 gold on delivery, Shane will be pleased. Sure, I don't... I don't have any quartz, but if I find some, I'll be sure to bring it by. Okay. Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Nice to meet you too, Harvey. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Good. I'm glad. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. I probably will, Harvey. I probably will. Who are you? Can I talk to you? Okay. Energy tonic and muscle remedy. What do you do? Restores a lot of energy. Ha! 500. Okay. 200 health. Muscle remedy. When you push your body too hard, drink this to remove exhaustion. Okay. Um, those are really expensive, so I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass on those. You're probably Evelyn. You are Evelyn! Okay, and you're kind of like a, like a cute old lady with your little, with your little bun. When you get to be my age, you have to see the doctor more often. I bet you do, Evelyn. I do, baby. You're holding up well. When you get to... Okay, so she says the same thing over and over. Alright. Flu. Don't spread disease. Cover your sneeze. Alright. This clinic is licensed for medical practice by the Ferngill Republic Health Authority. Alright. Great. Good. Good. Okay, so let's go to Pierre's. Okay. Alright, Pierre. Hey there, it's Lewis. I do all my grocery shopping here. Okay, good. Great. 2,000 gold! That's a lot! That is. That seems like a lot, right? My god. Alright, well, that's okay. So, okay, we've got parsnip seeds. It takes four days to mature, so just two more on the ones that I've got at home then. Bean starter. Plant these in the spring. Takes ten days to mature, but keeps producing after that. Yields multiple beans per harvest. That's cool. Grows on a trellis. Okay. Cauliflower seeds. Plant these in the spring. Takes twelve days to produce a large cauliflower. Okay. Alright. Uh, those are a little more expensive. Potato seeds. Plant these in the spring, take six days to mature, and has a chance of yielding multiple potatoes at harvest. Ten days, 
six days. These are probably the better buy than the beans. I feel like they are. But they don't grow... They don't, they don't continue growing, I guess. Okay. Hmm. It takes them so long. I'm probably going to buy some of each. Okay. Tulip bulbs, plant in spring, six days to produce colorful flower, assorted colors. Okay. Kale, six days to mature, harvest with the scythe. Hmm. Jazz seeds, seven days to produce beautiful puffball flower. Grass starter, because I need more of it. I've got so much on my farm right now. Sugar, sweetness to pastries and candies, too much can be unhealthy. Wheat flour, cooking ingredient made from crushed wheat seeds. Rice, basic grain often served under vegetables. Oil, all purpose. Vinegar, an aged fermented liquid used in many cooking recipes. Wallpaper, so I can actually wallpaper my house. Okay, that's, that's kind of neat. I like decorating. Okay, flooring, yeah, I'm not like super crazy about those. Like that one's kind of cool. Um, so like maybe, I don't know, when I have more money. Cherry sa- okay, so there's fruit trees! Okay, great! They are crazy expensive, oh my god. 28 days to mature! Bears fruit in the spring only grows if the eight surrounding tiles are empty. Okay, so these are all pretty much the same 28 days, mature apricot tree, fruit in the spring. So this one's for summer, okay, and I bet this one is peaches, yeah! Ah, I can grow peaches! Alright! That's totally what I'm going to do. Pomegranate sapling. 6,000! Good lord! Okay, apple's not so bad. That's for the fall. Okay, so that's all the stuff that he sells. I can sell him this. I don't know. Uh... Okay. Okay, so I'm going to buy some seeds. Um, I've got 764... Kale? Potatoes? I feel like I can get more potatoes. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna grow potatoes. I mean, it's six days, and then I'll get some cash in, and then I can come and buy more stuff, right? Plus, I mean, I get, like, more potatoes than I actually buy seeds, because they produce multiple ones. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. So we'll take all these that we can get, preferably in multiples of five. Yes. Okay, great. Fifteen. Okay, I think that's actually as many parsnips as I planted as well. So that's good. It's like, uh, it's an even... You know, it's like even, uh, fields. That's good. That's, that's symmetrically pleasing. You know, for some of us who have, uh, hang-ups about such things. Okay, so I feel like we've probably talked to most of the people in town at this point. Uh, introductions? Nineteen of twenty-eight. So we've got nine more. Uh... Okay, let's check out the beach, see if anybody... Oh, yeah, right, because I'm supposed to talk to the guy. Oh, yeah, here he is. Okay, smoking his pipe. He even looks like a little fisherman. Hey, buddy. What's going on? I was told to meet you here. Hoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, too, uh, Mr. Willie, sir. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. That's cool. Why don't you take a step back? Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. That's cool, man. I appreciate that. Oh, look, he's so happy. He's like, yeah, fishing rod, all right, bamboo pole. Okay, so we'll just take this then. And it looks like I'm getting rid of something. Uh, I don't really need that. Okay. Great. Thanks, Willie. You're the best. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh, yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'm probably not gonna for a while because I'm a little bit broke right now. Also, I'll buy anything you catch. Well, hey now, we're cooking. If it smells, it sells! Heh <laughs> that's what my old pappy used to say anyway. That's gross, bro. If it smells, it's... Well, actually, fish does kind of have a, have a fishy smell to it. A, kind of a smelly smell, if you will. All right, so uh, that's Willie, I guess, and we got our uh, got our fishing rod, so we're gonna do some fishing at some point. 
Uh, I have played the fishing minigame on here before, and I am not super good at it. So that's probably going to be, uh, be a lot of failing. Oh, gosh, my inventory is so full constantly. I'm just going to... No, I don't want to eat the sap. I want to get rid of the sap. Just... Could you not? Could you not? Could you not? Okay. Going to get rid of that, and we're going to get rid of the fiber, because I see... I see earthworms, and the thing is, with earthworms, you can dig them up, and occasionally they drop nice things for you. Like that, for instance. I'm not sure what that is, but we're going to find out. A trilobite. Okay, so it's a fossil. Great. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. Well, we're going to let him know just as soon as I, um, just as soon as I meet him. And I've still got some meeting to do, so I'm going to go do that. I do not have... How much was this? Was it 300? 300 pieces of wood. Okay, so I've got, uh, I've got 105 with me. So I guess I will... I will try and get 300 wood and fix that. Hey, you're new. Elliot. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, Elliot. It's nice to meet you as well. You have nothing else to say to me, do you? Okay. Did somebody walk this way? I feel like I saw somebody go this way, like, a second ago when I was on the beach. I'm probably wrong. It looks like I'm wrong. Okay. So. Uh, heading back to town. We're gonna go try and find the museum curator guy. Um. And then I need to get my crops in. Sam. Okay, did we meet him? Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Sam. You've got uh, super crazy anime hair, buddy. Okay, so... Hi! I haven't met you yet. Penny. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Neat. Good to meet you, Penny. Okay, so she's like a teacher. That's cool. I was a substitute teacher for a while. I bet you're the museum curator. I could be wrong. I'm probably not. Gunther. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Gunther. I've got a trilobite you can have. If you can pay. Because, you know, I ain't doing this for free. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. Great. Here you go, buddy. One trilobite. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. That would be cool. I would be interested in that deal. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Can do, Gunther. Can do. Alright. Donate. One trillobite. I'm gonna put him right there. Okay. Great. You're the best, Gunther. Book. There's a book missing here. Okay. Is that all it says? I guess it is. Maybe if I go around to this side? No? Okay. Well, I guess there's a book missing there, then. So hopefully I'll find it at some point. Oh, there's the trilobite. Okay. Trilobite. A long extinct relative of the crab. All right. Well, um, it's five o'clock, so I don't know if I'll get to see anywhere else today. It's locked. Closes it forward. This is the blacksmith. Okay. So we met him at the bar, actually. So, yeah, I don't necessarily need to go in there and meet him. I don't know if he lives with anybody else. Hey, guy. Oh, it's Shane. What? What do you want? Go away. 
Fine, Shane. You know what? Have a nice life. Jerk. Joja Mart! Ah! This is... horrifyingly corporate. Okay, Joja Cola, Joja Wallpaper, Joja Cola Light. Hmm, excuse me, and parsnip seeds. Bean starters. Are these... cheaper? How much did I pay for my potato seeds? No, they were... They were only 50. No, these are more expensive. Well, screw you, Joja Mart. You're supposed to have good prices. I don't want any of this corporate crap anyway. You know what? In fact, you know what? You know what? You're the worst. Morris. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Bro, coming on a little strong. Okay, look, I don't need your Joja Mart uh, club card, okay? I'm fine, thanks. I'm going to stick with Pierre's, because his prices are better. Okay, so that guy is creepy. We are going to go back to the farm. I've got to have met, like, most of the people in this town now. Archaeology is done. Gunther asked if you'd consider donating any new artifacts or minerals you found in the museum. He says he'll compensate you by way of occasional rare goods. And I get 250 gold, so... Oh, yes! All right. I wish I'd done that a little earlier in the day. I could have gotten five more potatoes, but that's okay. Delivery... Oh, there's actually... There's a timer. Crap. Well, I don't even know where to get quartz. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. It's going to be fine. Okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be great. Okay, so, we're going to head home. It's 6.30, 6.30, and uh, I feel like that's like a... We, we did a lot. We accomplished a lot of things. I'm going to cut down this tree. Rather, these trees. Because I need 300 wood. And, uh, I mean, if I can get the wood other places than my farm, then, uh, then that's what I'm going to do. I feel like that's going to be a thing that happens. So, yeah. Plus, I need, like, a lot of money for a backpack, because I'm super tired of being out of inventory space. That is that is just the worst for me, personally. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I know it's not, like, as action-packed as a lot of the other games that I've been playing, as any of the other games that I've been playing on my channel. Um, but I enjoy it. I mean, it's like, you know, it's a nice little sort of change of pace. Oh god, my energy is, uh, is not great. I'm sure it's like, I mean, it's more fun to watch me try and fail, oh god, at games like Spelunky and uh, Subnautica. But I mean, you know, like I said, this is like a, it's it's like I was, I was, okay, so, hi, I'm Drake. I have a confession to make. I used to be addicted to Farmville. I did. I mean, it's just such like a nice, simple, little time-wasting thing, you know. And I was never like obnoxious with it, I never like sent out you know, invites to all my friends on Facebook or anything like that, so, you know, don't don't worry too much about that. But, uh, I've still got to get these seeds in the ground. This is bad. I have no energy. Uh, I don't want to pass out, though. Mm. Okay, I have nothing to bring my energy up with. Can I... Okay, so can I craft things? Wood fence, skate, chest... I could make a chest, and I could keep things in it. Tools, mainly. I can't really create a lot right now. I'm going to make one of those. And I'm going to put... Okay, I'm not really using my scythe a lot. I'm going to put my wood and stone and sap and coal in there. And I'm going to put my scythe in there, too. Okay. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put him to bed. He's uh, he's pretty much just he's done. Okay. All right. Go to sleep for the night. Hey. Okay. So I leveled up. Level one foraging plus one axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. That's great. New crafting recipe: wild seeds. Hey. So I can get seeds for free. That's awesome. New crafting recipe: field snack. Okay. So I bet that brings up my energy. Great. How much did I make? Not much. Forty. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? Okay. 
All right, well, uh, I think I'm probably going to leave this video here. We're just going to do, like, one day at a time uh, on this one, because, you know, it's um, it's just sort of a little a little palate cleanser between, uh, between running and screaming on Subnautica and uh, failing horribly at Spelunky. So, anyway, uh, if you like the video, feel free to give it a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you feel so inclined. And I will see all you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.